The sun is a star, but it is the closest star to Earth, and the only star that can be seen during the daytime. The sun is about 4.6 billion years old and is expected to continue shining for another 5 billion years. The diameter of the sun is about 109 times that of Earth, making it the largest object in the solar system. The mass of the sun is about 330,000 times that of Earth, accounting for 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. The temperature at the core of the sun is about 15 million degrees Celsius, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. The sun's surface temperature is about 5,500 degrees Celsius, 9,932 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun rotates on its axis once every 27.3 Earth days at its equator and once every 36 Earth days near its poles. The sun's magnetic field flips every 11 years, reversing the polarity of the sun's magnetic north and south. The sun's atmosphere consists of three layers, the photosphere, the chromosphere, and the corona. The photosphere, or visible surface of the sun, is about 500 kilometers, 310 miles, thick. The sun's the magnetic is a thin field layer is affected of gas by the alignment the and position of the planet is visible the solar during a solar eclipse. The corona is the outermost layer of the sun's atmosphere, extending millions of kilometers into space and reaching temperatures of over 1 million degrees Celsius, 1.8 million degrees Fahrenheit. The sun emits energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation, including visible light, ultraviolet radiation, and X-rays. The energy emitted by the sun supports all life on Earth and drives the Earth's climate and weather patterns. The sun's energy output varies over time, with peaks and valleys in an 11-year cycle. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, are explosive events on the sun that can affect Earth's magnetic field and disrupt power grids, communication systems, and satellite operations. The sun's magnetic field is responsible for the formation of sunspots, which are temporary dark spots on the surface of the sun that can be seen with the naked eye. The sun's energy output is so powerful that it can cause auroras, or northern and southern lights, in Earth's atmosphere. The sun's gravitational pull affects the orbits of planets in the solar system, keeping them in stable orbits. The sun is not perfectly spherical, but slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator due to its rotation. The Sun contains about 74% hydrogen, 24% helium, and 2% other elements by mass. The Sun produces energy through nuclear fusion, in which hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing energy in the process. The Sun's energy output is equivalent to 384.6 septillion watts, or 3.846 times 10 to the 26 watts. The Sun is the source of all solar energy, including solar power, solar heating, and solar cooking. The Sun's gravitational pull is responsible for the tides on Earth and other planets in the solar system. The Sun's rotation causes a phenomenon called the differential rotation, in which different latitudes of the Sun rotate at different speeds. The Sun's magnetic field extends far beyond the orbit of Pluto, creating a bubble called the heliosphere that surrounds the solar system.